Time now for the Friend Zone. We bring on one of our friends at Fox News on the show. You can tell who we really love because they're the repeat guests. Janice Dean has done this many times. She's, of course, the Hi. weather machine here at Fox. She's our meteorologist. And we've got a so <laughs> solar eclipse, Janice. It's coming up on Monday. And the question is, can we stare at, I mean, what's the truth? Can you stare at the sun no, or can you not? No, not at any time. Not when the sun oh. is in full shine mode or during eclipse. Okay, so you have to have these fancy sunglasses, which are apparently sold out on Amazon. So I'm selling these for a hundred bucks, Tucker Carlson. If you want to see, Done, the I'll trade my tickle me Elmo. Listen, <laughs> I am so excited about this eclipse. It's just a reminder that there are some things that are not in our control, and this eclipse is going to bring all of right. America back together. All right, do you know the anatomy of an eclipse? It's where the moon passes between the sun. And the Earth blocking all or part of the sun. The penumbra is the partial shadow, which is what the whole U.S. is going to experience. And then a very small little widespread region is called the umbra. That's the full shadow. That's the totality that is going to go coast to coast, Tucker, for the first time in 99 years. From the northwest to the southeast, this area is going to experience total darkness for over two minutes in the daytime. Time. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be amazing. It's going to change our lives. Yes. yes. The only thing that could eclipse I mean, the eclipse is the cloud cover, unfortunately. So don't get mad at your local meteorologist if the cloud cover eclipses <laughs> the eclipse. That's the one thing I want to just so make mention. Wait, so it's in that band. You know right what here. that narrow band is. Are there any population centers in the middle of it? I'm trying to look. Absolutely. Nashville. Yep. Casper, Lincoln, Nashville. I'm going to be in Greenville, wow. South Carolina for Fox and Friends. Lincoln, Nebraska. And then the rest of the U.S. is going to get partial eclipse, which means it's going to be kind of dusky uh, around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So there's your Monday forecast. Looks like the middle U.S., Midwest, that's where we're going to see the cloud cover. I'm hoping we're getting this, you know, full effect in Greenville, South Carolina, where I'm going to be. Uh, so, you know, this is well, a big deal. You can see why pe people 300 years ago, before the advent of meteorologists who could explain the phenomenon, <laughs> might think the world was ending. Well, absolutely. And you know, you, what I want to do for Fox and Friends is have a rooster close by. Because you know what's going to happen? It's going to get dark, and the rooster is going to automatically think that morning has come again, and the rooster is going to crow. Yes, animals could freak out a little bit, but the big deal is if you don't have these sunglasses, they have to be approved, ISO 12312-2. You can't look at it with sunglasses or your 3D glasses. They have to be approved. So NASA, you know, on their website, they'll tell you what you need to be looking for. The last time we had a coastal eclipse, coast to coast, was 1918. I remember, do you remember, Tucker, back in 1979? I was eight years old. I know I'm giving away my age. Yes, but I remember I very well. How exciting that was, but it was also very scary because it was like, don't look at the sun. You could go blind. But it's very true. You cannot yes. look at the sun. And uh, an ophthalmologist likened it to being out when it's cloudy and still getting a sunburn. You know, you're more apt to look at an eclipse because it's dark out, but you're still getting the full effect of that UV light, and that's why you have to have these really cool sunglasses. Uh, yeah. And if you well, don't, I'm going to try to control myself. I don't want to be able to. Wait, you is, does your new book come out on Monday? Yes, it does. Freddy the Frogcaster <laughs> and the Flash Flood comes out on Eclipse Day. Uh, and here's a couple of tips, okay? So don't look at the sun directly. Uh, the sunglasses have to provide sufficient protection. Here they are right now, these babies. Only look at the sun through an approved solar, a solar filter. And then remember when you were a kid, we made, we made the, the filters out of a... a, a, a a cereal box and you put the pinhole, yeah. those are safe. You yeah, can go exactly. online and learn how to do that, but you can't look at the sun. That is the bottom line. Tucker, thank you for promoting Freddie the Frogcaster, bringing America closer together with our, with our solar eclipse that's happening on Monday. I will be in Greenville, South Carolina for the totality. It is going to happen. It is going to change our lives. And I love you. I will be lying in bed watching you, Janice. You <laughs> are the best. Janice Dean, everyone's favorite at Fox News. Thank you, Janice. Say hi to your dad. That's about it for us tonight.